are getting very sleepy. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Vac Max I with your host, Mac, myself. And today we're going to be reviewing, as you can see, a few of my physics toys. I mean demonstrations. They're um completely professional. Like, all good. Okay. As you can see, this little orange thing is a bird. And uh, awesome! it is known as the balancing eagle, I think, or something like that. And right here, if I zoom in a little bit, then you can see it's only balancing on a small little piece from this glass bulb. And if I spin it, it might still stay balanced, but I don't know. Oh, oh. What the heck? No, it won't. Okay. So now I'm just going to continue showing you. It's balancing only on my fingertip. So that's because the center of gravity. Uh, next physics toy demonstration is this neat little contraption which has a small amount of liquid on the bottom. It is most likely an alcohol. And there's some glass tubing going up from the bottom bulb to a higher bulb. So mainly what this little contraption does is when you pick it up and hold it on the bottom bulb like this, then it heats up the air in the bottom bulb, pushing up the liquid inside through this system of tubing and it's really it's really entertaining actually so it's pushing it up war warming the air in the bottom bulb pushing all this liquid up eventually all the liquid will go up and it'll appear as if it's boiling but actually I'm just constantly expanding the gas in the bottom bulb and I'm just shooting air up as if I blow bubbles into a soda so what's happening here is as I put my hand on the bottom bulb the gas expands because as temperature increases, so does volume. This is Charles' law. Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> okay, so our next physics toy demonstration. This demonstration is a neon bulb. So it has neon gas in there. And here are the electrodes. And this works by passing a, a electric current through this these two black pieces which are flowers and this little sign that says Hawaii and I got this in Hawaii because I live here okay so now I'm running power through it and as you can see um, here it is in its little bulb and there's actually a little amount of aura aura <laughs> and when I say aura I mean just surrounding aura it's a uh, it's aura. Uh, ionized gas around the petals and they used to be black. It's not like this is LED, so this is actually, it's basically Aurora Borealis around these flowers, but it's inside the bulb. So I was super stoked when I found this at the North Shore of Hawaii. <laughs> so right now the neon gas is being ionized to give off its uh, signature red light, like it does in neon signs sometimes. So yeah, electricity. What the heck? Okay, so here it is. Uh, most people know what this is. This is a plasma ball, and uh, in there is a, I think there's a mix of gases, but mostly krypton. There's a AC power supply over there, and it's coming through into the, into the little box. <laughs> I'm obviously a professional electrician, yeah. Okay, so from here, this electricity finds its way, least resistance, as electricity does, and it ionizes the gas uh, as it's going through towards the glass and that's how a plasma ball works it's ionizing uh, different paths it's just going okay <laughs> here it is and when I touch it, it makes an even thicker little ow oh got <laughs> I'll have to figure out why it responds to touch like this 